you having flashbacks at all? Yeah, it was kind of cool coming out here. Uh, I, don't, I think it's the first time I've been to a practice in a long time. But uh, it's cool to see Derek out there. It's been a while. I've been waiting for this for a while. With a lockout, I thought you'd be out there. I thought about it. I asked Pat if I can come work out with him. He said, yeah, tight end. Not, not quarterback, we have one. So, <laughs> how do yeah, you, uh, I'll be out there a little bit. How do you control it as a brother and as an NFL quarterback doing both in terms of giving advice? Well, I give him a hard time as a brother, so it's easy. So I can just, I just kind of look at it as a quarterback now. So, I mean, when I'm up here, when I'm in the film room and stuff with him, um, I'll just try and give him some knowledge, you know. I've got some experience with it, so hopefully he can take something away from it. You know what the pressure is like of coming in here with huge expectations. He also comes in with that. Uh, what what yeah. type of advice are you going to be giving him? I know there's a long way before the first game of the season. but Yeah, he's got a lot of time. You just got to take it one day at a time. It's like a cliche, but really, this is where all the work's going to be in. You know, you got to do this, and you go through the summer and just keep guys together and stay, stay sharp. The games will take care of themselves once all this stuff happens, so he'll be fine. He'll, I mean, pressure-wise, if anybody can handle it, he can handle it. He's, he's fine with that stuff. In terms of just being being in the system and being around the program for so long, how much of an advantage do you think that is for him to come in? You know, yes, I know it's his first year, but yeah. he's seen you. He's, he's been around. Well, here it's cool just because Jeff is running the same system that we ran. You know, when I was here, so I can when I'm, I'm listening to the plays from the sidelines, I already know what's happening. So and Derek knows too because he's kind of kind of grown up around that terminology a little bit. I kind of use that when we're out in the backyard throwing the ball around or whatever. So. I think all this stuff's pretty comfortable for him. It's just going to be a matter of putting the work in, and he's he's done that so far. What are you doing now? Are you just waiting? I'm around just working out back in Bakersfield, and uh, just with some receivers down there, and just waiting like everybody else. When, at what point in the summer and the spring does it start to affect your day-to-day -day routine in terms of not being able to report and do all that stuff? Yeah, uh, well, for me now, I kind of have a pretty good routine that I can kind of just take with me all the way. The only thing I'm going to miss is just the actual reps, you know, live team reps and. You know, just the balls that I'm going to throw, I'm going to throw in practice, you know, in Bakersfield, the same that I'd throw up there in San Francisco. But uh, it's just the live reps against defenses that we'll probably miss. I think that's going to hurt everybody, though, so it'll be interesting to see what happens. How much of a disadvantage with a new coach, new system coming in that you guys aren't going to be able to be a part of? For yeah, that's going to be tough. I think that's going to be a hurdle that we have to kind of jump over. But uh, I talked to Harbaugh before the lockout, and those guys went up and saw them a couple times. And, they uh, they seem to think that it'll be okay that you know the terminology is going to be simple enough to where we'll be able to transition right into it even if we only have a couple weeks to get ready for our first game. You got the experience of going to the NFL draft, walking up there, showing the jersey, hearing your name, with the, with all the talk of the, the you know them saying they don't want these guys to go. What, what is your thought? Do you have any thoughts on that? If I wasn't going to be the first pick, I wouldn't have gone to the draft. That was just my my deal. Um, but I had signed before and uh, and we went. I just. I've had too many friends that have gone there after that. Aaron Rodgers won, one of my good friends, and kind of sat there and waited. And I mean, it all worked out great for him, but it's just frustrating. It's, it's hard to be in that position, you know, the, you know. If you don't go right when you're supposed to go, then you're automatically, oh, what's wrong with this guy? And then they're trying to zoom in on his face. And it's just a bad deal. So I'd stay home watching my family if I was them. Would you advise the players not to go because there's kind of like a boycott going on right now? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I mean, that's that's kind of a... I don't know the whole situation between the the players and the you know and the owners. That's just it's a frustrating thing for us. I'm sure uh, you know we're we're up there in San Francisco talking just a couple weeks ago. Coach and players were like, let's just go on the field and play. That's all we really want to do. So it's it's all politics and stuff. But I mean, I wouldn't even try and get into that if I was those guys. If if they want to stay home, stay home. If they want to go, go. But I wouldn't worry about the politics of the whole thing. Do you feel like you're still part of a, a rotation that could get the starting job? At the yeah, that's what I was told. So it's it's an exciting time right now because it was nice to go up there and talk to a guy that actually speaks your language. You know, I was I talked to him for two minutes already, and we had we had hours of things to talk about. Just from playing the position, he understands it. He understands the game, and it was a, it was a comforting feeling knowing that you're in good hands as the head coach. So this has to be really frustrating for you, then not being able to be a part of that, knowing that you at least have a chance, right, to get back. Yeah, that's the hardest part, you know. But I'm kind of just leaning on my knowledge of systems in the past and. You know, the system that we're going to run up there is going to be pretty similar to some of the things I've done in the past. So that'll be easy. But, um, yeah, it's frustrating because I'd like to be out there working at it right now and getting after it. Hey, when you see Derek out there, he kind of looks like you. He's got the towel out like you. I mean, he runs like you, seems to throw like you. Do you see, like, a, like a twin brother out there? Yeah, but he tries to be flashy. Like, he's got the black <laughs> tights and the long sleeves and... But yeah, he he does okay. He definitely definitely resembles me a little bit, but um, he's got his own swagger, I guess. Is he kind of ahead of the curve as to where you were about his point in his college career? Oh no doubt, no doubt. I mean, he could he could probably come to camp with me, honestly, and he'd be okay. Um, I think mentally he's he's there. Um, it's just going to be reps. 
you know, live game situations, just all the things that he has to go through. So, um, but he's he's up to the challenge. He'll you be know, fine. I had him on my show yesterday, and he told me to ask you who throws the better deep ball. So the better deep. I have to ask you. I'm pretty sweet at the deep ball. I'm gonna say that myself, but uh, he's got a nice one. He can throw it a long ways. I know that he went, he went to my uh, my quarterback camp down there in Bakersfield, and I mean I don't know how far the ball went because we stopped looking up after like 75 yards, but it was out there. <laughs> like I was sitting at the 50 with all the high school kids, we were kind of just throwing the balls. I'm like, oh yeah, good job guys, 50, and they're like they're all chanting for Derek to go up, and I hadn't really seen him like throw a ball like deep in a long time, a couple of years really. You know, because you never really just get out there and wing one, but he let this thing go, and I'm sitting at the 50, and it's still going up. And I was like, that's all I need to see. So he can he can huck it. He can throw it a long way. Is it true that he has a Boise State poster on his wall, and you won't let him take it down? Him? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I didn't beat him either, so he can probably just say, here, hand this back to you. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, but he'll, he'll keep it up there. Until he beats him. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Thanks.